So welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew. And I'm Tiffany. And you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So today is a big day for our baby chicks. It's graduation day, or as I call it, 18 year old day, as in get your stuff, get out of the house and go get a job. <laughs> so we've got our baby chicks out here. They're now four weeks old. They've grown up so fast other than one little runt that we've had, but uh, the little guys, I call it, we haven't even sexed it yet to see if it's a guy or girl. Still doing great, doing really good. Just smaller than the rest of the chickens. But I'm noticing they do not like this brooder much at all. They're starting to get really antsy, starting to fight a lot, and they can pretty much just about fly completely out. Actually, I come in here the other day and one had flew up into the heat lamp and was just laying up here in the heat lamp. Actually, I got a picture of it. Check this out. So that's crazy. They're getting they're getting to the point they can just about get out. They're getting extremely restless. Like I said, they're pecking at each other, which that's natural chicken stuff. But we think they're fully feathered enough that they can handle outside in our little bit bigger coop that we have. So we're about to grab these chickens. Actually, I'm gonna let Tiffany grab them and I'm gonna watch her back and forth. We're gonna introduce them to their new home and see how much they like it. We've been looking forward to getting them outside and kind of ready to get my room cleaned up. I didn't realize how much <laughs> dust and stuff yeah. goes everywhere with them here flopping wings and constantly <laughs> kicking up pine shavings my room is a mess so let's show you the baby chickens real quick and let's get them outside today's the big moving day all right so before we can bring these baby chicks out i need to get their coop set up right here and if y'all didn't watch this episode we just built this a while back this is made by av tuvin it's their air 45 model it has two nesting boxes that you can split the sides and have four total nesting boxes, which we don't have to worry about that right now, baby chicks. It's got a wire run. And don't forget, I just did another episode too where I put no dig fence around this and kind of really beef this thing up because, well, living out the country, we do have predators and other issues. I literally have cameras out here watching at night, motion activated lights, everything I can do that I can think of to try to make it a little safer for these baby chicks. By the way, if you're interested in any of this stuff, I always put links down in the description. This is not a sponsored video. They don't even know I'm making this right now. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So the cool thing is whenever they contacted me a while back, you know, hey, you want to test out one of our coops? I said, yes, this couldn't work out any perfect because I've always had plans to custom build me a really big coop. And I'm planning on doing that this fall somewhere over in this area off of the barn itself. But I knew I wanted to go ahead and get chickens raised up and going. So having a small coop like this to take them out of the brooder, kind of expose them to outside temperatures and day and night and all that good stuff. I love having this little coop and I probably will always have this as kind of a transition coop uh, before I introduce newly hatched or, or growing chicks over to the big coop where we're eventually gonna have all of our laying hens. We may even get into meat chickens down the road. I'm kind of really kicking that around thinking about it as well. So I may make a really large area over there, but I kind of like having this little transition coop to take care of everything and transition them to the big coop. So the one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna layer the entire bottom of this pen right here with these pine shavings. They're already used to walking around on that. That'll absorb all the poop and pee and everything else. And I had somebody ask me a while back, how do you plan on cleaning this coop out? Well, as you can see, it has two big flip up doors, which gets me most of the access, or I can literally take four screws out, take these completely off, and I can climb right in here and scoop whatever I want out, or I can take the few screws off that's holding this entire run down. Me and Tiffany can pick it up here in the yard and I can just scoop and clean. You don't have to really clean it out often. I'll just keep layering, um, but it's really easy. Just a matter of a few screws here and there, just completely remove it, rake it out where I want, probably right in the tractor bucket. And I'm just gonna start me a compost pile from here on out. And as we get more and more animals here on our place, eventually I plan on producing all my own compost. So in here, one thing I really like about this coop, it's got a big galvanized metal pan in the bottom that I can fill full of shavings. You flip a latch in the back and I can pull it right out and go dump it, say again, in the tractor bucket. So it makes it really easy to clean out. I'm gonna put some uh, pine shavings down in here. So they're gonna spend a lot of time in here and I know that it's gonna wind up getting messy. All right, we'll open their little door so they can come in. I guess it's time to go get them and let them explore this little area, then we'll bring their food and water out. They are definitely ready to get out. So here they are. We've had the heat lamp off of them for a little bit. 
first day or two they were uh, cuddled up a little now they're perfectly fine it's plenty hot down here in florida and they haven't been huddled up anymore with the heat lamp off so we think we've got them conditioned pretty good so you want to go ahead and grab one and let's see how well this works out all right, all right let's get the first one that was born Come here. all right okay let me get the door, get the door. Here we go, first chicken off to the new home. Look at here. Look at here. What? And yeah. there is Bullet wondering what on earth. Will it be nice? Yeah, he be really nice. likes the chickens, but I think he may love the chickens <laughs> if you know what I mean. That's why we have all this. Know. That's why we have all this fence wire out here for you, Bullet. <laughs> you can't get in there. I know. Be nice. <laughs> That chicken is like, where am I at and what is going on? No bullet. You better play nice. Go check out your new home. So we'll close this up in case they want to fly out. I'd hate for a little guy here to catch one. Alright, look at there. There's my favorite chicken. That is one we call chicken teriyaki. Get back, bullet. All right, go check out your new home. Already up on the perch in there. Here comes Tiffany with our biggest one. We believe this is an Americana. All right. All right. A lot more room now. A lot more room. Pull it, you play nice. <laughs> he doesn't know what to think. This is his first farm animals, too. This is chicken farm. All right, Look chicken farm. Look at all his little feathers. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be nice and comfortable out here, especially being yeah. that it's getting in the 90s every day. They don't know what to do with themselves. Well, that'd be nice. Be nice. There you go. I think so far. Well, I think they're mighty confused. They're trying <laughs> to figure out what to do with all this new amount of room. Yeah. And being able to look outside and see yeah. different sights, different smells, different noises. And they're probably wondering what this critter right here is that's looking at them, <laughs> wanting to chomp them. All right, and coming up last, last but not least, <laughs> yep, there's a little chicken mighty, as she calls him. This was our little runt we didn't think was going to make it. but uh, We're about half the size of everybody else, but... He was like, I'm all alone. He was in there crying. Oh, yeah. He's got good yeah. feathers now. Uh-oh. Yeah. You got it. All right. So let's close this up in case they somehow do fly out. We'd hate for a bullet to get a hold of one of them. And I have noticed they have such little crazy characteristics. I love leaving. I used to always... Uh, put pine shavings inside and I would smooth them out. But so if you leave chunks like that, it drives them crazy. They all, they love going up there and just fluffing it all out and smoothing out everything. All right, so let's get everything closed up for them. They're obviously gonna have to learn what to do with this new room. See the big one's already comfortable pecking around. All right, look at them now. They're starting to scratch and go crazy. Let's go get their food and water. All right, so here comes their food and water. And as they get a little bigger, we'll upgrade these waterers and feeders and all as well. Plus, we plan on getting quite a few more chickens. All right, so now we have some water out here, a little feeder. We will upsize this as we get more and more chickens. Well, this one's able to be hung, but as you can see, it has adjustable feet on the bottom. That's one thing I really liked about this water. You can start out on the ground, then it has one set of adjustable feet, and then they fold out to even higher. Plus, we're gonna have to hang that feeder before long so they don't continue to scratch okay. their feet out. Pull it. So they look like they're getting comfortable already. They're pecking, trying to clean off their door, their little run. Well, it looks like they're already getting used to having the new 
amount of room and place to play around. Now we're also curious, we'll take any tips or tricks that we can get. This is truly our first ever farm animals. We've always had cats and dogs and things like that, but the chickens is just getting us started on where we plan on heading down the road with cows and goats and horses and everything else. But uh, what was you, you were mentioning the other day? A little so sandy. Like to dust. Yeah, dusting area. I know that most birds, especially ground birds, like mm -hmm. to dust. I'm sure they're going to kick the uh, pine shavings back to the dirt that's right there in dust. But do y'all suggest putting any pans in there with dust and yeah. dirt, anything like that? Anything else you think that we need in here? Now keep in mind we're working with limited room. Eventually we're going to upsize and build our own coop. Uh, we'll have a lot more room, but we'd love to hear any thoughts or suggestions mm -hmm. there on things that you think will make it more doable for them uh, while they spend the next few months out here and we get ready to build our big coop. I left that piece of grass in there and look at them. That's their first greenery they've ever seen. They are trying to chomp it down. So something else I'd be really curious about, at what age do y'all typically throw little extra treats in there, whether it be garden vegetables or greenery or things like that? So let me know that as well. All right, well, as y'all can see, it is early next morning. The sun just come up over the trees over there. The chickens just spent their first night out here in their new coop. And uh, we had no issues other than one little thing crawled around last night. My good friend, the armadillo. You can see his tracks going all the way around the coop right there where he was dragging his tail. But no issues. Let's see, uh, let's see how much they liked their first night out here. So good morning, chickens. How'd y'all do? Everybody still here? Mm-hmm. Now they had a heck of an initiation yesterday for their first day out here in the coop because we had a heck of a thunderstorm blow through yesterday afternoon. Popping lightning, wind, rain. It's something they're gonna have to get used to living here in Florida. But let's open this up, let them out. I'm sure they're ready to get out. All right, well, as you can tell, they're finally out. They were a little hesitant to come out this morning. I don't know why they didn't act scared. They just wanted to keep fluffing up their bed in there and pecking around on the inside. But they're outside now, eating up a storm. Looks like I'm already gonna have to refill this feeder. And I can see they're already trying to scratch feed out of this feeder. So it's about time to move them into something a little different, I do believe. Okay, well so far so good. We'll take all the tips and tricks that we can get from y'all, things to help get them in at night, get them out, where to leave food. We've got them a little dusting pan set up with sand. We think that's gonna be a good idea for them. Um, we'll get that in here before long. But So any other tips and tricks that you have, we'd sure appreciate it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. It's the chicken's first full day out now. I think they're gonna do just fine. Thanks for watching.